I definitely loved the B-movie when I was still a little kid, and I still do right now. So when I heard about the B-movie too, needless to say, I was stoked. Let's find out about what this movie has in store for us and why Jerry Seinfeld decided on the sequel. Jerry Seinfeld playfully suggested an animated film about bees called Bee Movie while eating lunch at Steven Spielberg's Hamptons home. Before he knew it, Seinfeld was working on his first feature-length screenplay with Barry Martyr and Seinfeld writers Andy Robin and Spike Ferriston at DreamWorks Animation. I know, right? Who would have thought that a bizarre joke-like idea would give birth to such a popular worldwide movie? But hey, I'm not complaining. The Bee Movie revolves around Barry the Bee. Basically, it's an animated comedy film about a bee who wants to accomplish something that his hive does not expect of him. Barry the Bee, fresh out of college, finds the prospect of working with honey unappealing. For the first time, he flies outside the hive and speaks to a human, breaking a cardinal law of his kind. When Barry discovers that people have been stealing and eating honey for generations, he understands that his ultimate vocation is to seek justice for his species by suing humanity for theft. I must admit, the synopsis makes the movie sound more dramatic than it really is. This film demonstrates Jerry Seinfeld's brilliance while also being nerve-calming and entertaining. While the film is mostly a showcase for star Jerry Seinfeld's comedy, the good news is that even young children can follow it. It is appropriate for the entire family, and everything hilarious in the film represents Jerry Seinfeld's comedic approach. There is some educational value about bees and what they do for the environment, as well as about making honey and what goes wrong in the world, such as withering plants if bees don't do their job, as well as enjoyment, such as when bees graduate from school or choose what profession they want. There are also many great role models, and while Barry makes mistakes along the way, such as when the plants wither, he learns from them and improves his way of life. The other important characters, such as Vanessa and Adam, are excellent role models throughout. Positive messages include how one person's life can change the world. The film is family friendly, and every family should watch it together on a movie night. One of the reasons B Movie has become a meme is that millennials who grew up with it realized how strange that seemingly innocent childhood favorite was. But oddness is a virtue, and it's all Seinfeld. The last seconds of the film, which introduced a cow who wants to sue dairy farmers, demonstrated that B Movie had merely scratched the surface of a world in which animals might fight for the goods they generate. Although B Movie did not perform well at the box office upon its initial release, it has since become a cult classic, particularly in the form of internet memes. Seinfeld has taken note of the newfound interest in the film and has teased the idea of a sequel over the years. However, as Jerry Seinfeld was the sole creative power behind B-Movie, and despite the fact that some fans have petitioned him for a sequel, he does not believe it is necessary. Quote, I honestly didn't contemplate it, but then I realized it would make B-Movie 1 less iconic, Seinfeld stated during a Reddit AMA when questioned about the prospect of a sequel. Seinfeld convened a team of writers, some of whom had previously worked on his eponymous show to create an absurdist cartoon masterpiece for the inaugural B-Movie. He's capable of doing it again, and the sequel to the B-Movie might even be greater. Who knows? However, some people argue that the B-Movie shouldn't have a sequel at all. Why is this, you might ask? Well, it's because while B-Movie is pure Seinfeld, family-friendly animation is not the ideal medium for Jerry Seinfeld's talents. He's a comic first and foremost, and he should continue to focus his energy on stand-up and projects like comedians in cars getting coffee, which still has plenty of gas in its tank. That's what other people think, not me though. And can I just say the original B-Movie's voice cast was impressive. The cast really did add color to the movie, especially since they really like to hit that like button if you haven't done so already. <laughs> Snuck it in there. In addition to Jerry Seinfeld, the film featured Renee Zellweger, Matthew Broderick, Patrick Warburton, Kathy Bates, Chris Rock, Oprah Winfrey, and John Goodman. A sequel might not only reassemble Earth's mightiest comic performers, but it may also include a few legendary names to the list. Another thing I am quite interested in is what exactly would the sequel story be? Since Barry B. Benson's tale is told in B-Movie, it already has a complete and fulfilling arc for the character. He graduated, became disillusioned with the 9-to-5, fell in love with a human, fought in court for B-rights, 
messed up nature, and eventually corrected his faults. He received a happy ending in B-Movie. Therefore, B-Movie 2 would have to pick between having no conflict, which would make for an uninteresting tale, and invalidating that happy conclusion, which would tarnish the original films. Or there would be a more mind-boggling plot that leads to an interesting turn of events. Hmm, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. B-Movie did not create a big impression upon its initial debut. Its most remarkable contribution to the cultural zeitgeist is its astounding social media success. With this internet popularity in mind, Jerry Seinfeld could give the sequel the same self-aware edge as Seinfeld episodes like The Bizarro Jerry and The Betrayal. B-Movie has a distinct personality. It wasn't to everyone's taste. In fact, most critics hated it when it first came out. But it has its own personality, and the next movie will surely have one as well. There is no film precisely like B-Movie. But if DreamWorks developed a sequel to B-Movie, there would be and that would either diminish its effectiveness or add more to it within the B-Movie Universe merchandise. There aren't many movies that require sequels, but directors like Francis Ford Coppola and Denis Villeneuve have made them work with films like The Godfather Part II and Blade Runner 2049. But the originals didn't feel unfinished before the sequels arrived and would have been okay without them. The first B-Movie stands well on its own. A sequel may be unnecessary, any sequel might fail to replicate the odd essence of the original. However, that is not what I think. I think that the sequel will not replicate the odd essence of the original, but instead would make it more special to us. What we felt first when we watched the first movie would be carried on into the next one. But enough about my opinions and speculations. Now that we've talked about the first B-movie and how a sequel would impact its image to the public, let's dive into the very real and upcoming sequel to this movie, because it's happening, people! The sequel to B-Movie is B-Movie 2, Attack of the Wasps, a 2023 American computer animated comedy film produced by DreamWorks Animation and distributed by Universal Pictures. Simon J. Smith and Steve Hickner are the directors, and big Hollywood names like Jerry Seinfeld, Renee Zellweger, Matthew Broderick, Patrick Warburton, Chris Rock, David Spade, and Arnold Schwarzenegger lend their voices to the film. The Hive is attacked by the Wasp army in this film, and it's up to Barry, Vanessa, Adam, Mooseblood, and his twin brother Deerspleen to save it. Aha! Can't say that I didn't see that coming. But if it has that trademark Seinfeld brand of comedy, then I'll definitely give it a go. Suffice to say, I'm more curious about this sequel than how this would get you to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. <laughs> Two times! As of present, there is little to no information about the sequel to the original B-Movie, and I admit, it's making me a little more worried day by day. B-Movie, believe it or not, is one of the sweetest animated family films you've probably never seen. Even though the film has some contentious baggage, it's still well worth seeing, and I just know that the sequel will be, unintended, as well. Check out these videos next! Pretty big company you have there. I suppose so. And I see you also own Honeybird and Hunron! <laughs>